Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. Tonight we're gonna go through a few yoga poses that are gonna help us sleep better. So they're just gonna help to relieve tension, stress, they're gonna calm our mind down. So all you're gonna need is a pillow or a cushion to lay on and some space. One more thing, we're gonna use the wall a little bit. So if you can find just a little space on a wall that you can use after for our final pose today, just keep that in mind. So let's get started, you guys. So we're gonna begin in Supta Baddha Konasana. So if you do have a pillow or a cushion that you can lay on, you can start to grab that now. And you're just gonna place the skinny side, if you do have a skinny side of your cushion, up against your, up against your hips or your tailbone. And then from here, you're just gonna lay on back. Ideally, your head is also on your cushion, so if you need two, you can use two. And then you're just gonna either extend your legs out nice and long here, or if you would like, you can bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide, kind of making a diamond shape with your legs. And then from here, I want you to take your arms, resting them beside you, kind of a, a little bit wider, not right beside you, and flip your palms to face up. And then once you're here, I just want you to close your eyes. Starting to feel your breath. Just slowing your breath down a little bit more. And just settling into your mat. making that diamond shape with your legs. Just letting your knees fall out to the side, trying to soften through the hips. If it's too much, you can always place more cushions underneath your knees. to relax here. Don't you just to slow down your breath a little bit more. Feeling your stomach move up and down with each breath. So we're gonna stay here for three more full cycles of breath. With each inhale, just feel your stomach expanding, filling up with air, and as you exhale, draw your belly button back towards your spine, just a little bit, not too much effort. Let's take one more inhale. exhale. You can bring your hands to the outside of your knees. Just help those knees come back together. And just let your knees rock side to side a little bit here. Just bringing those hips back together. And then we're going to need to come off of our pillow. So you can either roll over to the side or sit up a little bit. But I want you to slide that pillow out from under you. And then laying back down on your back. So come all the way back down. And we're just gonna pull our right knee in towards our chest. And I want you to let that left leg go out nice and long. So just starting here by giving that right knee a nice little hug, relaxing your head and your shoulders on the mats. 
And if you're flexing your feet, I want you just to relax those feet, your ankles, your toes, relax everything completely. Keeping your eyes closed and just feeling your breath. And from here, we're gonna find a twist. So you're just gonna bring that right knee across your body. Pull that knee across your body. Let your left, or sorry, your right hip lift up. You can stack on top of the left hip. So if you need to wiggle around a little bit to stack those hips, go for it. And then just take a second to bring those shoulders down to the mat as well. So that right shoulder might be lifting up on you. Do your best to bring it back down. You can even extend that right arm out to the side if you've got the space. And just keeping that left hand on your knee just to help keep it down. Don't worry about bringing it all the way down to the mat though. Just a nice gentle twist here. Stay on this side for three more breaths. Just feel what you feel, but as best you can, just try not to let the mind wander and bring it back to your body, to your breath. And then with an inhale, you can start to lift that knee back up. Bring your right hip down, hug your knee into your chest, give that knee a nice little hug again, and then start to release. We'll go to the other side so that left knee can come into the chest, extending your right leg out long, starting here by just giving that knee a nice hug, relaxing those toes, those ankles. Feeling that through the hip maybe, the glute. And then when you want to go into that twist, you can start to pull your knee across your body, letting the hips stack on top of each other. And then doing your best to keep that left shoulder down onto your mat. So if you need to extend the arm, extend the arm. And then just settling in. Staying on this side for just a few more breaths. an inhale to start to come back so lift that knee up bring that left hip back down and just give that knee one more hug hug it in and then you can start to release that left leg awesome work you guys so we're gonna come up come up into legs up the wall so if you've never done legs up the wall it might be a little fun to get into but if you know where you're going feel free to go right there so if you're new, I like to come really close to the wall. I like to bring my hips almost touching the wall, my sides almost touching the wall. And then from here, you're just gonna start to lay down. Hips are still nice and close to the wall and you're gonna start to climb those feet all the way up. This may be easier said than done, but once you do it a few times, it'll get really easy. So if you find your way up, and your hips aren't touching the wall, that's completely fine. If you're able to shimmy yourself a little bit closer, you can give that a try, but don't worry too much about it. As long as your feet 
are higher than your hips, you're in the right place. So we're just gonna start here with our legs straight, our feet together, and then you can just rest your arms either out to the sides or maybe on your stomach. You could also reach them above your head. Whatever is comfiest for you. And then I want you just to feel your breath again. Keep those eyes closed or winding down. Just continuing to feel your breath here, bringing the mind back if it's wandering off, and just letting your body relax completely here, just keeping those legs at the wall with as the least amount of effort that you can use. stay just a little bit longer here with our legs at the wall. You can keep your legs exactly where they are or you can start to slide them out wide. As you let your feet come out wide you might start to feel a stretch of your inner legs. If you love it, perfect. If it's too much you can always bring your legs back together. But just try not to resist here. Let the feet fall out to the side as far as they want to go. Again if you're new to this you might be really really feeling that. So listen to your body. Feel free to bring those legs back together at any time. So if you have your legs out wide right now, when you feel like bringing them back together, you can start to do so. We're gonna bring, or we're gonna keep our legs up the wall for just three more breaths. Letting it go even more. Just letting your head be really heavy on the mat, your shoulders be really heavy. Nice work, you guys. So how do we get out of this? Start to just roll to the side. Walk your feet down the wall. Come all the way onto your side. You can stay here for a moment or you can push yourself all the way back up. We're gonna lay down on our backs again. So just move yourself however you need to to find your mat or that space where you're doing your yoga practice today. And then once you're here, we're just gonna clasp our hands behind our head, pull your chin towards your collarbone, lengthening through the back of the neck. And then nice and slowly, you can start to rest your head back down, keeping the length of the neck, resting your arms beside you. I want you to just move your feet out a little bit wider, at least mat-width apart, flipping your palms to face up. 
Shavasana. Staying here for a few breaths. And just continuing to slow down all of your thoughts, relaxing your body. You notice that you are still controlling your breath, actively slowing it down. I want you just to let go of that and breathe as normally as possible without any effort. map of bringing your hands together, your palms together, and bringing your thumbs to your third eye between your eyebrows. Awesome practice tonight, you guys. I hope that you sleep well tonight, but enjoy the rest of your evening. And until we meet again, namaste.